Alrighty guys, this is going to be a review on my two-stroke generator. As y'all may know, Harbor Freight discontinued this line of generators. They used to be called the Stormcat and the Tailgater and the, I think they had a, a Chicago Electric one at first. Whatever, I went to Harbor Freight the other day. I was going to, I was going to buy one of these. I've been wanting to get a new one for a while. I had an old one. Whatever, I went, I went down there and they, they discontinued this. Well, I had swung by Atwoods, and they come out with this model. They call it a 1250, and it also has a a 12 volt battery charger with a set of cables. But I know most people's videos, you know, it's like an unboxing. Well, I like to take the thing out of the box, try it out, and everything, and then let y'all know what I think a couple months later, or a week later, or whatever. So whatever about. <laughs> Two months ago, I went and bought this thing. It cost me $149 plus tax. And uh, I tried it out on a 1,500-watt electric heater. And it will run a 1,500-watt electric heater, but uh, I think you'll burn it up pretty quick. But, yeah, I plugged it into the 1,500-watt electric heater and kicked it on at 700 watts, and it would run it. And I actually used it at a birthday party the other day running uh what was it two crock pots about 400 watts through a whole tank of gas thing never missed a beat it does have the torch brand spark plug in it i'm pretty sure it's the same thing that harbor freight sells they're all just made over in china but i guess since they come out with all the new inverters they started selling they stopped selling these because they had too many generators in line i guess but if anybody's still wanting to get one of these Atwoods has them on a the shelf right now. They'd, they'd probably gonna be the last place to get them. So I know I looked online, they like doubled in price. But uh, this is a review of how it's held up over three months and uh, two tanks of gas through it. And hell, it still cranks, runs like a top. Here, I'll do a startup of it and uh, let y'all listen to it. All right. This is going to be a cold start because it ain't been cranked in like two weeks. Been sitting in here in the shop. See, it took about five pulls here, crank from cold, been sitting two weeks. But uh, I noticed just like you know, if y'all have ever had an inverter, which I bought, I bought a new inverter one time, it tore up on me. But the power is all jumpy over here, and I noticed that I plugged it in the house one day, we had a power outage, and I was just used it to run all my lights. I got like a whole way to do that. But I was using it to run all my lights in the house and my refrigerator for the day. And uh, the all the new LED light bulbs everybody's got, like like these up here, they're LED. I do a lot of flickering and like kind of dim and bright. And it don't bother me none. You know, you can turn on the TV. It runs the TV just fine. I know there's a lot of debate between sensitive electronics, but it doesn't put out a perfect sound, sound wave you know but you know power tools air compressor little ones something like that with electric motor i don't think it hurt it and like i said a lot of your new electronics like tvs and all that have a power converter in them that drops the voltage down and it doesn't have to have that steady flow of electricity and uh but there she is this is going to be my review on that one like i said basically same thing from all the freight turn around back there and uh so just these have a battery charger now i tried the battery charger on a dead battery on the four wheeler the other day and i'm going to say it did keep chip tripping the breaker for some reason but you could push it in it charge it for about five minutes and it kick out and it actually put a big kind of a load on the motor and i don't know if maybe the battery was too dead but that's my only complaint on this thing. And here's the brand. Y'all can see it up there. It's not It's not a Chicago or nothing. It's a, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's like a Sagman, 
something. 1250. Two stroke. Bye.